This is a story about Winston Smith, a middle-aged man who lives in Oceania, a collection of countries that form one of the three superpowers in the world. He is stationed in dreary London, working as a clerk for the Ministry of Truth under Big Brother, the overruling party of Oceania. His job is to update all text, like books, newspapers, speeches, etc. to match whatever the party deems as correct. Winston, however, is unhappy. He keeps a secret diary and writes in it frequently, expressing his frustrations with how life is. He takes caution from the Thought Police, a police-like group who use telescreens to view any suspicious activity from potential troublemakers. Then one day at work, Winston notices a dark-haired woman named Julia. She's young and beautiful with a hint of mystery. She slips him a secret note saying that she loves him. The two meet up and engage in a physical and romantic relationship, of course forbidden by Big Brother and the party since intimacy is only for procreation, if that. With the permission of an antique shop owner, the couple use the shop for their secret meetups. The couple even meet with another one of Winston's co-workers and talk about the Brotherhood, a secret resistance organization trying to dismantle Big Brother. However, the whole thing is a setup and Winston and Julia are taken in for questioning. During the interrogation, Winston faces his greatest fear, rats. They put a cage of rats on his head and he begins to panic. In terror, he declares that he wishes the punishment be given to Julia instead of him, and he is broken. And in the end, Winston is the shell of a man, broken and sheepish, believing what Big Brother tells him, that 2 plus 2 equals 5. First and foremost, 1984 portrays a dystopian society, a society overly controlled by an oligarchical government where a few powerful people make the rules for all. In essence, it's about power and control. To do this, Big Brother controls information, more specifically information about the past. It informs its citizens about current events, which is the constant war being fought overseas. Oceana is seemingly at war with one of the superpowers and allied with another. However, at a whim, Oceana then aligns itself with its former foe and declares war on its former ally, yet the records are made to show no change. And to aid in this flip-flopping, Big Brother controls time. Why is it 1984? Well, it technically isn't. In the story, we learn that the year 1984 is seemingly infinite. It's more of a symbolic date rather than a measurement of a specific time. But why would a government do that? Wouldn't it cause more confusion? Again, it's all about control. By controlling time, there is no past or memories, but also no future or ambitions. It's a world of the constant present. We're also introduced to four ministries within Oceania that, while different from the branches of government in the Western world, parallel contemporary powers that influence our lives today. The Ministry of Truth can represent the media, which provides news, information, and entertainment. The Ministry of Peace can represent the military. The Ministry of Plenty can represent businesses and corporations. And the Ministry of Love can represent culture, conformity, or societal pressure to accept certain paradigms. And so it does make you wonder, is Big Brother watching us right now? 